Hey guys, I never go live anymore because they always restrict me every time I talk about justice or the oppressed or, you know, police brutality or anything that the dominant society is want me to talk about. They, they take my uh, privileges away. Anyways, just want to hop on here and just chat with y'all because 2023 was a goddamn hot mess. Get it right or get left. What are you lying about today? Your mama loving you. Anyways. um, It's raining. I was about to go and, and rake the leaves in front of my house for the third time this week. Because I got this huge tree that just, just shakes so many leaves. But it just started raining. So that was my sign to stay in the house. I'm just going to cook today. What's up from the Bronx? What's up? Can you believe? Can you believe? The last three months of this year showed the hell out. Let's see. First was the Will Smith thing. We're like, oh, shit. What? And then the week later, Kathy done dropped her lawsuit. And that made us, I know Will was like, woo. We were bombarded all year with Jada and Will. I'm so sick of that. Then we had the Diddy, Cassie thing. Then all these other people started coming out. Bodyguards. Friends. Today, there's more rumors on Twitter. What's up, Boston? Have y'all seen the news today? On Twitter. Who else they dragging into this? Um, you know, yeah. I'm not gonna say that, but they say that his initial Stanford. Take, taken, taken. I'm not gonna say it. Now, all these things ain't true, but a lot of stuff is true. I suppose, you know, like with anything, you gotta look at things like, okay. Jesus, I, 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 I I'm like, <laughs> is everybody wicked is everybody wicked is everybody a mess I used to ask my mom when I was little right mom are there more crazy people or bad people in the world than good she said no there's more way more good people than bad but as I've gotten older and in my 50 years hey Michigan I'm starting to think that it's the other way around you know, I'm starting to think that when you find the good people, the honest people, the people that ain't scamming you, lying, trying to rape you and assault you and take from you and steal from you and lie on you and play friends against each other and put up a fake holy image or a fake classy image. But they're really the most wicked behind closed doors. What's up, Roxbury? I'll be out there in the East Coast next week. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like getting to a point where now more than ever, y'all. What's up, Aldrin? Hold on to your good people. Yes, 50 where? Yes, I'm 50. Was Christian Keys talking about T.D. Jakes? Not to me. He's never mentioned him to me. Never mentioned him to me. Not that I know everything that he knows. I'm not his bestie. We just cool. But no. New Bedford, Mass. What's up, Robin? Money and power is very attractive, right? I have no power. Maybe a little power at Foxhall at one point, but I don't really have power. Money, I have a decent life. You see the artwork. Actually, that's a that's a TV that you can you can change that. But I do, I do okay. Um, I could be probably a million times more powerful had I have. Um, said yes to uh, some things in this business that I said no to. That I, when I, you know, didn't, when I, if, if I hadn't tried to get out of rooms that people locked doors in and said, let's discuss. But like I tell people, I'm too lazy to be a hoe. It's really, that's a joke I tell, but I'm really, um, my mom, she, she kind of set me up for, for, not for failure in life. Like I saw her work hard. I have no, I'm no, I have no fear of um, working hard. 
So I was never going to take those shortcuts. But there's people that do. They ain't in my circle like that. Would you consider producing an LBGT talk show? Would love to partner. Send me a, a DM or an email. Claudia Jordan 7 at AOL.com. <clears throat> Um, oh yeah, my hair crown, my hair, y'all yeah, like it, it's got it done yesterday. Much love from Nashville, make love, not war. Who closed the door? Uh, there's been a few people. I talked about Steven Seagal, closed the door on an audition, unlocked that door. There was another director, black guy, he didn't ever really blow up that big, but he's done some stuff. He actually drugged one of my friends, and again, I tell y'all things, but I don't expose him all the way. I say the part that I've been allowed to say. So one of my friends, she was actually drugged by this director and he follows me. Hello. Hello, motherfucker. And your time's gonna come. It's going to come. I'm just letting you know right now, your time will come. And people say, oh, you're gonna stop people. You're gonna prevent people from, you're gonna allow more people to get hurt if you don't say anything. I can't make people come forward until they're ready, but when they do, I will support them. He didn't drug me. He just locked the door on me, tried to make me take off my shirt and audition and read topless, and I said absolutely not, and I was about to cry, and I'm getting out. But I'm just saying, he didn't rape my friend, but he, he drugged her. Like, what was the reason? And she escaped, flagged down a police officer, and gave her a bottle of water, right? And um, I don't know if he knows this, but she had the water tested. And it tested positive for the, the date rape drug, the GHB or whatever the hell it was. And I saw him at some events. He's like, yo, Claudia, your girl told me by drug. And I go, uh, do you know that she had the water tested? I don't care to work with him, so I don't give a fuck if he gets mad. I didn't say his name yet. But I, I just say that to say, there's a lot of these stories that happen. I was drugged by somebody else that was in the music business. Um, try to deny it. Then I saw one of my friends on the floor in the bathroom in a club and she was out of it. I was like, who are you with? Who are you with? She said the same name. It's gonna get exposed. Trust me, it's gonna get exposed. It's gonna get exposed. So don't rush me. Panama Princess. Um, I said on my show, I said on TGIF, which y'all need to watch Monday through Friday, five days a week, 5 p.m. on the West Coast, 8 p.m. on the East. Y'all are frustrated with, oh, it's Cassie, and now it's this one, it's that one, and all these hoes and clout chasers are coming out the woodwork trying to get a check. It was not Pharrell Williams, absolutely not. He has always been classy and cool every time I see him. Plus, he Aries. I love how you support colleagues. Thank you, Sharon. If they're good people, yes, I'm supporting. <coughs> um, I know it seems frustrating, like, when y'all hear a few stories. Because, like, the blogs will run the stories over and over again. And then this chats over here. And you hear it in the radio. And you see it all over the place. So, to you, it feels like, oh, my God, everyone's just coming forward. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Nothing. When there's so many more that like I personally know of, and then there's so many more that I don't know of. Now, I was talking to one of my girls today. Is she watching right now? Hey, girl. The 90s were a wild time, and I ain't gonna lie. There was definitely that groupie culture. So there were people that were not innocent. Those are people that were like willfully, willingly going to go screw everybody, okay? But then you have the people that are targeting the underage girls or the women that are not willing and they drug them. Um, you find out later on, oh my God, we were hanging out with a guy that was drugging girls. Was I drugged that night that I woke up? I couldn't remember anything. I can't, was I? Damn, I, I narrowly escaped that one. And it's not just the entertainment world, you guys. Our, around any industries where there's a abundance of power and money and influence, politics, sports, TV, movies, radio. There's a lot of abuse of power. 
on the guy side, you get these nerds that are unattractive and then they finally get to a position of power. So now they want to like make every woman pay for the girl that said no to them in 11th grade that broke their heart. You know, men, they get broken up with one time in fifth grade. And it's like, fuck bitches for the rest of my life, right? And then you have women that's like, you know what? Their hearts are cold. They're just sick of it. So they're just like, fuck it. I'm just trying to get money. I don't care. Right? Then you have the good people that go in there that are like, I just want to make it. I just want to create good things. And they get caught up in the cesspool of the industry, the industries. And it's not just entertainment, y'all. It's in all fields where there is an abundance of money and power. Um, radio is real w- wicked, real wicked for women, really wicked. Like name me women in radio that are leads of this show besides Dee Dee in the morning. I'll wait. It's controlled by men, right? And, um, it's really hard. Like you, you're just gonna get a job as a sidekick where you just, your job was just to laugh at the star. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You're so good. You're hilarious. Even when they're not. <clears throat> but like, there's a lot of little bullshit that be going down, you know? Movies. Man, I had one of the people that actually are in the position that could change your life. Invite you over, you bring your agent, it's all the up and up, put your mom on the phone, your life's about to get changed. You believe them, and then there's always conditions like they hit you up another time when no one's around, they want you to have dinner, and then they want to make it something that's not because people are not up front. Like I said. A lot of dudes with no game, nerds that have no play with women, but now they have power. So instead of just like coming at a woman and trying to date them on their own personality and um, their vibes, you know what I mean? Court them. They have to dangle. Mm. I have some chocolate right here. Kisses. It's appropriate. Oh, oh you want to you be in my movie? I think you'd be great for this project. Actually, you're exactly who I wrote this project for. Um, just, just go to dinner with me one time. It's nothing. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, there's an award show. Would you just accompany me with me? Accompany me to it? Oh, okay. Ah, oh, have a drink. Have champagne, because champagne, you really can't tell that there's a drug in there because the, the way the fizzes, the fizzies in it, carbonation, it's hard to tell. Oh, oh, the studio wants me to go with somebody else, but I could probably put a good word in with you. Um, would you want to go away with me for the weekend to this, this event? No, nothing. You have your own room. Don't worry about it. See how the bread coming works? You see what I'm talking about? And before you know it, then I got you, right? But it starts with the little innocent thing, then the next thing, then the next thing. I didn't even think about that in advance. That was kind of dope, actually. That was kind of bars. But y'all, I wanted y'all to get the visuals, how it works. It don't just like, no one just comes up to you and says, hey, can I fuck you and put you in a movie? It doesn't work like that. It starts with little micro thingies that you don't even realize you're getting game until... You're like, oh shit, I'm in a weird position right now. How do I get out of this? That's how it works, y'all. It don't be so obvious. So we have to be like, oh, oh I would have never done that. Oh, if someone would have done that to me, that would never fly. You don't know what the fuck you would do. You don't. Because a lot of times you don't even know the game is being played on you until you like knee deep in it. Or well, hopefully not knee deep, but you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I just want y'all to not be so judgmental when you hear these stories because people that are, have been doing this for years, they're good at it, okay? You don't even realize games being played on you and you don't have to be dumb to be gamed. You just have to like want something, believe in something and like if you don't think like a scammer or an abuser or whatever, you don't really, your mind only ain't really wired like that. You feel me? If someone asks me for a meeting about a project, I'm thinking it's a meeting about a project. I don't think it's a meeting about a project. I'm thinking we're really about to talk about the project. So I go in, guard down, thinking, oh, okay, we're going to talk business. What we do? And then you're like, oh, 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 got you. Or sometimes it's not obvious. Like if it was obvious, they would never be able to get victims, y'all. If they made their intentions obvious out the gate, they would not 
be able to get victims. So just think about that when, before you judge people, okay? And this is a general conversation I'm having with y'all. This is about no one specific. So please don't read into what I'm saying. This is about no one specific. This is about just my take on what I've seen in my 26 years since I moved to California. I think I moved there in 97. And my friend invited me to a, a party at a producer, some white producer's house. I can't remember his name. All I know is I'm a small town girl from Rhode Island in a public car. A big old tray of cocaine gets pulled out and I, my friend's looking like she felt like, should we, I'm, bitch, I'm not doing that. I can barely, I can't even drink coffee. I'm damn sure not going to do no cocaine. So I was like, imagine how many people just feel like, well, I guess this is what everyone else does. You know? Anyways, I don't bet on auditions where they shut the door. It's just you and the person reading. They ask you to take a piece of clothing off. You're like, no. And then they try to punk you like, What's the fucking problem, huh? Ain't you a model? You 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 embarrassed about your, your body? I mean, uh, listen, if I have, I hire you for this job, I mean, I don't have time to fucking be coaxing you out the trailer. If you get this job and you gotta do this scene, just get the fuck out the trailer and drop your robe and just get in the character and just do it. And you're like, but I, 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 I thought it was just, I was just playing someone's girlfriend. Yeah, well, it's a scene that it looks like y'all naked, but you're not really naked. I go, okay, so why do I need to take clothes off in this audition? I, I, I just don't, I just want to know your vibe. I want to know that you're able to just, you know, get into the character. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't think this is for me. I think I'm going to go be a, a model on a game show or something or just do radio. This isn't for me. Oh, really? You going you gonna to be pussy? You going to be you scared to, to you, you don't really want this like that, do you? You don't, you don't want this. And you'd be like, um, can I go now? I'm 25, I'm nervous, I'm from Providence, um, and a lot of people can't get out of that situation. A lot of people will, crum will crumble because they're like, I recognize you, I've seen your credits, I want to work with you, but not like this. So yeah. So maybe next time you have an audition, they hand you a bottle of water and go, hey, you want some water? Here you go. And the cap was already unsealed. Because they already put the shit in there. It happens, y'all. I'm just saying. And then for the people that lie and that jump on the bandwagon to ride a clout chain train, fuck out of here with that. Because you will be messing up the real people. Like there's people like me who have not exposed people yet. I will. That was scared. Or too much time has gone by. So you're like, well. No one's going to believe me now, right? And then you people don't make it any easier in the comments where you just like drag everyone. Like the analysis y'all be doing on the victims. No, Pharrell Williams, absolutely not. He was always an angel every time I see him. Um, Claudia, be careful. I don't want them to do anything to you. Well, I'm not saying anything about a name. You know, I haven't given y'all a name or anything, so... I'm just giving y'all a general <coughs> conversation. But um, I know better. You know what I mean? Um, and then if you combine what you've been hearing about the business, right? And then you see our good sis, um, Taraji P. Henson come out. And break down in tears about the discrepancy in pay, making 2% of what Brad Pitt made on the same movie. And then for y'all to criticize people that um, are, allow themselves or are fell victim, fell, fell prey to being a victim. You know, it's, com it's more, com I, I always think about things being more complicated than the, the surface. People see stuff and they just jump the gun. Oh, you're a groupie. Oh, you're lying. Oh, you're for clout. Dig deeper, y'all. Dig deeper than, I said a director, it's not Pharrell. Stop, please, 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 please. Um, no. So like, just have a little patience. And the mercy of God. He will people. not die. Like eventually the truth will come out. Why Shaw 40 says God sees everything and he don't like evil people. They will be exposed. Exactly. 
And Taraji speaking on black women, uh, the pay in the industry, uh, Elo, my favorite. It's horrible. It's horrible. Um, someone as decorated and talented and accomplished, accomplished, accomplished ooh, as Taraji crying over money. She should be so financially taken care of. Viola Davis, she's mentioned things too. Having a career compatible, comparable to Meryl Streep, Julia Moore, and still having to work. You, you see a lot of the same black women working so hard so much. My friends be like, yo, you don't ever sit down. I, I be crisscrossing the country, doing this little movie, doing that little movie, doing my little tubey shit. Yo, y'all can call me if you want to. It is okay. I'm trying to stack money. On an honest way, you know what I mean? So, yeah, maybe I'm not doing the the A-list stuff, but that's okay. I can sleep at night and look in the mirror. Shout out to my girl, Nicole, Selfie Cosmetics. We coming back with a lip line. I wore it last night on the show. I'm going to grab it real quick. Um, a lot of times you see black women working so hard because we have to. We can't just do a movie. What's up, Brooklyn? Hey, girl. She worked hard, too. We can't just do a movie and then, like, two, three years go by and, oh, I'll come do another one because that one paid me so much money. We have to end one project and leave and go do the next one. When I was in L.A. working on the horror movie I was doing, which, shout out to James DeBose, thank you so much, and Damian Douglas and, and Harrison. I can't wait for you to see this scary movie we did. Um, while I was doing the film, I would... Be, speeding off set and run into my hotel room, set up my cameras, my microphone, my lights, my computer, and I'm still doing TGIF five days a week. I still got to work. And that's no shade to them, but I'm just saying, like, we have to work because we don't know when our shit's going to end either. We don't. Like, our shit ain't, like... If I was like a young white woman and I got a couple parts of movies and stuff or TV shows, I'd be paid, like, at a different rate. Or a man. Um, I remember doing a radio show, sitting across from someone less talented than me, who I did all the work. I did all the. I found all of our topics for five hours of programming every single day. Right? He never did. I would send him all my topics. And be like, what do you think? He like, cool. Every day. Only to find out because of the Good Old Boys Network, he was making like thirty thousand dollars more than me, and I uh, would get. I was doing all the work, just because you got a dick. Because you're a male and I'm a female in radio, you're going to get paid more than me. I can see if your name was bigger than me, which it was not, has not, will never be. And I'm like, damn, just because I'm a woman? I'm always going to be the advocate for the, um, uh, yeah, post-traumatic stress is real, y'all. I'm always going to be the advocate for the person that is the less powerful one, the one that needs something, the one that is trying to make it, you know, because I know it's so when a manipulator hears that you need something, this is a, a phrase I learned to never say or never let anybody um, hear me say this. I'll do anything for that job. They'd be like, really? You don't say anything? I heard about a girl that I know of that said that. And they gave her the show. And they made her do that anything that she said it. They said, okay, say less. Hold my beer. You'll never hear me say that. So when you have money or when you up, I highly, highly, highly recommend you save money. When things want to get in as good, I, last two years, I've been stacking money. And I did get burnt on an investment. I lost like $80,000 on an investment. I really would like to have that back to pad my bank account. But, and I'm doing the stuff, rehab on my house and stuff like that. But like, always have like some money in your account where, what's up, Salisha? Everyone's crazy, that's right. Have some money in your account where you are never desperate, where you have to do something. You know, you want to be like, all right, I got six months worth of expenses, minimum. 
So no one will ever have, have you bent over, bent over the rails where you feel like, damn, if I don't do this, I can't eat. And I know that's easier said than done. I know it's easier said than done, okay? But we spend a lot of money on stupid shit every day that we can like save on. Like I bought these uh, Hershey's Kisses the other day, right? I bought three of these. I only needed one. If I want, bought one less, that's $5 right there. Buying a coffee when you can make it at home. Cup of tea, Starbucks. Getting your hair done at home, doing your hair yourself instead of going out. Little things you can do, you can start saving your money. And before you know it, you'll have a, a little extra chunk of money, right? That may be the difference between you having the ability to say, fuck you. I got a few extra dollars. I, I'm good till next month. Or being on your last and being like, well, I got to eat. Or my kid got to eat or whatever. Because when you're desperate, I can't even blame you for going out like that. I can't even blame you because it's, it's about survival, right? Anyways, what y'all want to know? Can I just start on TV? Yeah, you can. You can. Yeah, it does need to be a class. Everyone needs to name them. They do, but like, don't push. It's only been a week and people are already turning on Christian. Like, come on, let him, probably some lawyers reach out to him, I'm assuming. And he's like figuring out, like his lawyer's probably tell, telling him, okay, you dropped the bomb, now just chill. So y'all chill out with, you tell us who it is now. No, you tell us when you feel comfortable. Ain't no one gonna make me tell until I'm ready. So stop, stop. Let, let victims, and know what I also think? I'm gonna say this, because this is a straight man, people gonna clown him, right? If he was a gay man, a member of the LBGTQ community, we'd probably be a little more like, yo, okay, that's, that's fucked up. Or a woman, or a white woman especially. Don't, don't, don't do that to this man. He's already embarrassed enough. You know how hard it is to come forward and people are just been so mean in the comments. People be so mean in the comments, I'd be like, I see why people don't come forward. So let's, let's be conscious about that. It, it has to be humiliating to say another man groped you. You know? It's a little bit different than when a woman comes forward because with us, people see us as the weaker sex, but when it's a man and have muscles, we like, well, you wanted it. How come you didn't do anything? Mm. Relax. Relax. There's a lot to be said about mental gymnastics and mental and games. And um, people just be, and a, and a lot of y'all need to check yourselves and your own motives. Do you want to know because you really care about the victims? Do you? Or do you want to know because you nosy and your appetite for the tea, uh, tell me, tell me, tell me, is what you want and you mad. You think about that while I go get my lipstick to show y'all what I need y'all to be supporting. So I'll be right back. This is a commercial break. I'll be right. Just give me one second. And yes, I'm not matching. I'm going to work out. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Yeah, I don't be matching when I go work out. Like I, well, sometimes I do, but I don't. I'm not one of those girls that be trying to be too cute at the gym. I just try to go um, get it in. So listen, y'all. While I got y'all here, I mentioned to my girl Nicole. Um, this has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. This is a shameless plug. I'm gonna just start promoting businesses that outside of this TV stuff because we have to. Years ago, we started this uh, line, the Shade Collection SC, because I was on Housewives. And these are a bunch of matte, they're matte. So they go on wet and they dry and they like, don't even come off. They can stand for like overnight. So black owned, me and my girl Nicole, Selfie Cosmetics with a C, we're gonna start pushing up. Okay, I, I'm just bringing that up because I told you I would. Yes, stack your chips. Uh, what happened with TD? I don't know, I don't know him like that. I'm just seeing like things on the uh, internet, they trending so. I guess we'll find out more. It, it could be a rumor. It could be just gossip. Because right now, everyone's so like ready to just, everything's so explosive. Any name that gets dropped, we just run with it without asking any questions. So we're going to wait until we find out some more. Uh, we are not going to be irresponsible here. You be on to be killing kids. 
Okay. Um, it's called acting and it's a, a role that's not real. You know what I mean? Like, you know, when you watch um, Avatar or um, The Grinch or Cinderella, it's, it's not real. It's just a story, okay? So I'm not really killing kids. I'm just being a character in a movie, okay? Okay. Okay, good talk. Good talk. Um, yeah, go ahead and watch All I Wanted You on um, TV, part one and part two. Y'all yeah, been seeing the ending because 50 Cent and Michael Blackson and all these people with a whole bunch of followers been posting it on their page. Um, what y'all saying? Hold on, you guys. You work so hard. Selfie Cosmetics, you work so hard. You plays no games. We respect it highly. Thank you so much. Okay, Lattimore DJ says, keep your mouth shut. Stop lying. Would you like to get blocked? Too late. You've been blocked. Um, Auntie watches TJF on TV. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, they might be blocking people quick, huh? All right. Uh, before I go, it's, uh, let's take some questions. Let's take some questions. Let me scroll to the bottom of this. Let's go to the bottom of this. <laughs> Call up the haters on your live. Claudia, what advice do you have for a new press on nails business? That's Roman Vich Lauren. Um, really take advantage of Instagram. You know, maybe send a couple to some influencers and sometimes they're gonna post, sometimes they won't, and that's just kind of a cost of business. And you never know, like one post could get everybody talking about it. These are my nails, I don't have press ons, so I have um, but I have friends that use them and they look so pretty. Um, the hair looks good. Thank you. I posted on my page where the hair is from and that my uh, stylist in oh, Dallas named Jay put them in micro links. It's real flat. And the hair is so silky. Oh, oh, oh. My hair was really this long when I was little. My mom went to the hospital. She had surgery and she couldn't do my hair all summer. So she sent me to get my hair cut. And they took me from here to like here. And I feel like my hair has been the same length since uh, fifth grade. I look like Michael Jackson. Okay, you're welcome. What time are y'all live for TGIF on YouTube? So, 5 o'clock if you're in the West Coast, 7 o'clock Central, 8 p.m. on the East Coast. So, 8 p.m. on the East Coast. So, just work backwards and it's live. You can go to YouTube and watch us. Your hair is banging. Thank you. Chasing Jamal, when is TJ doing the next show when y'all bring on guests? I don't know. Della Reese, Charlemagne acts like he has an attitude when you host the Breakfast Club. Are you good? I think we're good. Does he have an attitude? I don't think he does. I just think that I'm just, I think I'm his maybe second favorite. I, it's obvious that he really wants, he loves Jess and they have a really good relationship. So, you know, he probably, you know, that's when you really want someone on there. I just feel like he really wants her on there. And so when I'm there, it's like, it's cool, but like that ain't his favorite. I think I'm, I'm second, maybe a third. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. I can't be first at everything. But I, I do have a good time on there. And I do appreciate when he lets me on there, him, Envy, and Eddie Fennell. Thank you so much, Eddie F. I really appreciate the time y'all have had me on there. Because I definitely be missing doing radio. <laughs> When we have movies be coming out, um, I think the scary movie comes out, it's going to be on, on a Friday the 13th, um, sometime next year, but it's actually a real movie. <sighs> Some of the still pictures are super dope, so I can't wait for you to see it. Is it tough sometimes dealing with Funky and Al being the only woman? Yes. Especially when it's like commentary on black women or the LBGT community, because it's just me, and I, sometimes it feels like I'm being ganged up on when it's 
to men that have uh, testosterone, they can sometimes get aggressive. And me, it'd be like, oh, well, and we're on Zoom. So it'd be different when we're on Zoom because, like, the voices, like, when more than two people talk at the same time, one of the people um, gets kind of, like, muffled out, and it's usually me. So, <clears throat> it's a little frustrating, you know, but I can handle it. It's all good. Okay. I remember seeing you come off your plane in Vegas. Do you still think we'll be able to do the Dallas Women's Social Event? Yeah. Claudia. Your sex, Claudia segment on TGIF, you're caught, cut off at times. Would you would like to hear more of your voice? Oh my God, it's like the most frustrating thing. Yeah, I do get cut off a lot, but you know, it's part of it, I guess. Do you miss the foxhole? Yes, I do. We were all these podcasts that are out now before they all came about. No, if we were around, we would be the biggest thing out. We were like, the, we went there, we were fearless. We were bold. There was nothing else like us before that. The only thing comparable would be Howard Stern. But we were like all that. What are some good restaurants in Dallas? Visiting soon. Um, D. Lincoln's and the Star. Um, True Lux. Crab Kings. It's a small place. So it's like kind of hood, but I love it. Um, Monarch. There's a lot of places. Just send me a DM because it's too much. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I'm about to get off. Uh, it's 1240. I got to pre-tape uh, something at 2. Oh, who knows? I'm so tired. I'll be in Dallas soon anyways. Dallas is cool. Hmm? Wait, let me see. I'm trying to go back. What is your favorite R&B generation? You used to back up rapper for MCM. Oh, really? Okay. I love old school R&B and old school um, uh, hip hop. Like from 90, early 90s or late 80s. Like Boogie Down Productions, Scotland Rock, um, Stethosonic, Special Ed, EPMD, Public Enemy, BC Boys, MC Light. Oh, Brooklyn, you want to be in this? I can bring you on here. Let me bring you on. It's my girl. Let's bring Brooklyn on. And see, my girl Brooklyn is like, come on here. I, I accept your invite. Hey, hi. Hey, what's the, the last time we talked oh. live? You were in a. Where were you at? I was in Aruba. You were in Aruba. Uh, that's my favorite place to be. Where you at? You in Chicago? I'm in my mama's house. We got. I'm getting all types of stuff done for her for christmas uh she getting tvs and internet and cell phones and all security systems and yeah all that good stuff are you in chicago no i'm in detroit oh, oh detroit okay yeah hello. i'm gonna go see my mom this weekend how are all of claudia's fans doing today <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what you're talking about girl i just saw you live and i was like whatever she's talking about i can chime in and say hello i was just talking about the business how you know just how grimy it really is and like people need to relax and people are like tripping like oh my god there's so many people coming out but i'm like y'all ain't seen nothing yet if, if all the people started saying stuff this is nothing compared to what how it really is yeah still a lot of people okay <laughs> so what as, as a lot of people in the closet yes oh uh, yeah like, <laughs> like there's a lot of people still getting away with shit yeah yeah hell yeah so, so i was telling the story i'm not gonna say his name but remember the night when we were at crustaceans that director that was that shady director i told you he I haven't, I haven't told who it was, but I was saying like he drugged one of my friends and, and people are so quick to say, well, why didn't you react this way? When someone does something weird to you, a lot of times you freeze up out of like, uh, yeah, like, yeah, you don't know what you're going to do until it's in their face, it's in your face, exactly. you know, exactly. And sometimes it takes people a minute 
just to deal with what the fuck happened before they can even think about what their next steps are. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why they have that law where, hold on one second, mommy, I'll be right there. There's a, okay, there's a reason why um, there's that law where if you remember sexual assault, it says like, um, you have up to three years of remembering it mm -hmm. to press charges. So if you're in your 50s and something happened like back when you was a teenager, but you went through therapy and you just realized it, you still have up to three years, even after that point. Right. You know, it's after you remember that. They they have that for a reason. Cause that, you know, you never know. It's just like mourning a death. You never know how people are gonna react to that, you know? That's right. But they still out here doing it. The, the they fuckers are. that know how to do it and still getting away with it, they doing it. And we gonna hear about them in another 10, 15 years too. You know? And a lot of people are scared, like they're scared and like you see, you hear all kinds of rumors of like people being unalived and silent. All, that. And all of that. Yeah. And, it's, and it happens. It does. You know? It does. But I just and tell people, I just tell people online, I go. Why? You know what I'm saying? We just looking at it as a, it's a regular, not a regular, you know, traumatic event, but you know, later on down the line and you find out like what was going on and it's terrible, you know? Yeah. So yeah, that's what I was talking about. I, I wasn't giving any names, but I just was like talking about a lot of stuff goes down that people be like, well, how come you didn't come forward? I'm like, there's a lot of reasons why people don't come forward. It's and a lot. these comments of on the victims is exactly why. Like the people that come out, y'all drag them anyways. Yeah. You know? And now you wonder why we didn't want to come out because exactly look at how you received it. You know what I'm saying? People and, say stuff, and then all of a sudden they start dragging your character through the mud, and they looking at all types of old stuff, and oh, well, she dressed like this, and all of that crap. No, mm -hmm. just don't say nothing. Sometimes the after is either equally or even sometimes worse than the act itself. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, it's it's a shame. It's a shame. Great. Agree, agree. Oh, because it's Christmas and we all in the holiday spirit. Is that a booty or a butterfly behind you? It's two, two leopards. Oh hell, girl! The way you were sitting. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's his okay. butt, right? Okay, look. Like, look, look, brain in the gutter. Okay, because I was like, what, what is you that? <laughs> I know, right there, right there. It looks like some booty cheeks. <laughs> so this is one of those Samsung picture TVs. Like it's like a picture frame. And it comes with a subscription, so I can change the art. And, like, instead of buying a piece of artwork, I could just, and you have access to, like, Monet's and whatever. Oh, oh. Like, I can, I can put, like, different stuff on there. That's the same song. Yeah. Puff and Parlay, I'm here laughing at me because I know my mind is always in the gutter. <laughs> so I can put, like, <laughs> that's so funny. I can put, like, different artwork on here. I'm going to send you a picture i'm gonna just draw some shit and you put that shit on your tv okay you isn't that cool yes and then it like it looks like a real picture but it just glows a little bit more i like it i like it yeah so it's 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 five dollars a month extra to like get the access to like all this art and i can i can download your picture and have it up there if i wanted to as i think I, you should <laughs> I, I might have to were you celebrating new year's gonna be in detroit um, I don't know. I no, I'm not gonna be here. I'm gonna be somewhere. Um, I'm gonna go somewhere else. I'm gonna spend Christmas here with the fam bam <laughs> out uh, for New Year's. I'm just trying to figure out where. Okay, I'm going to Jamaica and I'm gonna be in Rhode Island with my family uh, for Christmas. I really want to go to Aruba. You know, that's my favorite place in the world. Well, we'll be back this summer. What is that? April you mean for the, again? The yeah. Uh, oh, yes. my, my, yeah, I'm definitely going back. I need to stop. I'm gonna actually book it. So y'all, is he performing again? nine times out of ten i'm not sure yet. yeah i'm going either way because I, I i love going it's such a fun time it is it is well hot cakes good talking I'm, to you i'm just i get so, so happy when i see you on live when i'm not doing nothing i can be like hey yeah hey. And i'll bring you on again i i was like oh look at she sent me a request i'm definitely gonna bring her <laughs> on <laughs> well i love you happy holidays love happy holidays all of my loves fans you guys have a great day and uh yeah we'll talk soon for sure. Happy holidays. Bye, guys. Bye. Wait. That's my girl, Brooklyn. She works with a really big comedian. Um, and that's my girl. We used to, like, do the stairs sometimes, you know, Santa Monica. Good peoples. <laughs> All right, y'all.
I'm about to get off the phone here. Um, anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Should I save this live and like leave it up or no? Nah? Did I say anything incriminating? I don't think I did. Okay. Gotta go. Mwah. Thank you for supporting me. Um, thanks for, for just throughout the years, like, you know, being down. All right. Love you all. And make sure you watch the show tonight at 5 on the West Coast, 8 o'clock on the East Coast, on the YouTube channel for um, TGIF, or you can watch on your smart TVs. Okay. Mwah. Love y'all. Bye.